what DSS must know before taking any serious action on Namde Kano. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Certainly, Nigerians are eager to know the pronouncement that will be given in the case of Namde Kano, the IPOB leader. There is people called the Department of State Services. Sincerely, I do not understand how they do their things because I do not even understand how they are an, a law enforcement um, agency. They are supposed to be a law enforcement agency, but themselves do not follow laws. It has been brought to the notice of the judge in, in charge of this um, Masinam Dekanu's case in court that... This particular man now, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, he is not permitted to do some certain things. He only sees the sunlight for once a day out of the 24 hours. And if others now, maybe he tries to get into a conversation, even during that one hour, he's permitted out of his, you know, his cell. People do not, they, are not, they don't allow people to talk to them. If you talk to him, your punishment will be meted out like the punishment you receive is not going to be funny, which has made people stop talking to him for their own safety. And other outraging things that I'm asking, why? This same group, it was told, it was told that the judge in question, the judge now, J Justice Nyako, told them that, okay, allow this man to practice his faith. Allow people to visit him. Allow, as in, they give laws and orders. But do you know what is happening? The DSS keeps flowing to this order. Then I am now scared that, where is the justice? If... A court can give order. The judiciary, a whole judiciary body can give law or give an order to a law enforcement agency. And they do not carry that order. What does it tell you? Please come with me. Now the news in detail. Ever since this arrest was made known to the general public on June 29, 2021, by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, his case has become a regular feature in newspapers. As there are reasons to keep tabs on what is going on with him and the stage at which his detention has not only resulted in different policies by the IPOP group in the Southeast, but it has also resulted in a series of threats and warnings to the government, all in an attempt to get him released. Namde Kano, a 54-year-old Abia state indigen who is a British citizen, Hadela jumped bail in June 2018 when he claimed that his life was no longer safe in Nigeria. Being a secessionist leader, he is prone to having issues with the government who does not want the country to be divided. But then, Namde Kano and the IPOP members believe that the Igbo community has always been at the receiving end when it comes to good governance and leads to is usually allocated to them. Although experts stated that Kano was not going against his human rights, the government has different views about it. Justice Yakos ordered to the DSS. The court on December 1, 2021 had ordered that Kano be given maximum comfort in detention, be allowed to change his clothes, which he had been wearing since his arrest, and also be allowed to practice his religion. This order was given after Kano through his lawyers complained of being deprived of his right in the, the Department of State Services, DSS custody. Although, according to one of Kano's special counsels, Aloy Ejimako, during the Wednesday hearing, there was a total absence of security operatives at the court and around the perimeters, the same as it, as it was during the previous proceedings. Namde Kano was also not present in court when the order was given, nor was there any Department of State Services DSS official present to explain the reason. It was assumed that both the court and the DSS might have concluded that his presence was not required and the source of application that was moved on Wednesday. According to Punch News, Kano's case was earlier fixed for January 19th, 19th to have his case heard. But during the Wednesday proceedings, his case was dated back from January 19th to January 18th. While the justice presiding over the case, Justice Bintanyako assured that all the outstanding applications will be attended to during the next hearing. It was then that she gave the order that Kano is treated rightly and allowed to practice his Jewish faith 
adding that he be allowed to mingle freely with other inmates or any other person at a detention facility, as opposed to the solitude he was compelled to live in before. Ifanye Jofa refused DSS unchanged actions. However, a recent report made available by Namde Kano's lead counsel, Ifani Ejofo, explained that the D Department of State Services DSS has unrepentantly continued to treat the orders of a court with the greatest disdain. In a statement titled, Update on Today's Visit to our Indefactible Client, Onyendo Mazin Namde Kano, at the headquarters of the Department of State Services DSS, Abuja, explained, that when he visited Kano on Monday, December 6th, it was clear that the DSS was not ready to obey the orders. As reported by Punch News, Kano also informed the lawyers that he had not eaten anything since Sunday, December 5th, probably as a punishment for complaining to the courts about the harsh conditions under which he is being held in custody. Ifanya Jofor told journalists that he had earlier told Justin Nyako that the DSS would flout the others, as he was told to report back to her if they indeed flouted the others. He added that with this information, the legal team of Namde Kano will be approaching the court immediately to table the case, which he described as totally unacceptable, grossly condemnable and intolerable. Reasons why Namde Kano must be treated correctly. According to the law, he is still presumed innocent of any allegation leveled against him, and for this reason, the DSS, which was established by the instrumentality of the laws, is meant to operate within the laws it was created, rather than acting as a lawless entity by flouting court orders over and over. <laughs>